It seems like most Australians that come over are multi-event cowboys. Yeah. Did you ever get on any Bears or Bronx? I got on one bareback horse in high school. Uh, well, yeah, I was in high school. I did not like that one bit. Yeah. I, I, I like the event. Like, I love watching it. Like, them guys that do it, like, I think it's cool. Bareback cool. riding? Yeah. I, I love that event. But, and that's it. I figured I'd try it. And, uh, my uncle, he had some, uh, old saddle horse. And I put my bareback rigging and, like, on him and, Dad, dad was the same deal, like with the bareback riding. He's like, if you're gonna do it, like you're gonna do it properly, same as the bull riding. Like we're not just gonna get on just to try it. So I'd get on that saddle horse with my rig, and and he'd just lope around the round pen. And even just, I didn't know if them guys, them bareback riders, do it. I'm sure they have at some point, but just doing that in itself is a freaking workout and hard mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this is for reals. So I did that for a good while and, and got the hang of that. And then uh, I went to a little rodeo up by home. And up in Australia, they probably don't have the best horses to start out on and learn things properly. And this thing was a big, we call them clumpers over there, but they're like half Clydesdale type deal stock horse yeah big old thing and he he was quiet and gentle and but he this arena was probably the size well almost the size of like cheyenne like uh-huh. bigger wow he's wow. ran <laughs> golly <laughs> are you talking about the the cheyenne where it's cut in half and there's the pit or yeah. the whole thing no just where it's cut in half. okay yeah. still though huge he's running and i'm like oh hell and finally he breaks and i go to rip him and set him and he jerked he broke for one and then went to take off again jerked the hell out of me i double grabbed i'm like screw this no No more bareback riding i'm done (laughs) 